In this video, I want to talk a little bit about stagnated markets. Now, it's no fun trading stagnated markets, markets that just aren't trending. And as we come down here, what we want to do when we first start looking for markets to trade, we want to look for their longer term positions or the longer term trends and, and see if they've got any fundamental reason why markets rising or falling in price. I like to start off with the four hour, the two hour chart. And so by coming in here and looking at the four hour chart, I can see that this market's making a few moves in here, but not really anything that great. The market's really been stagnated. If we come out here to the daily chart, you can see that over the last, oh, it's been the whole month of uh, the past month, this thing's not done anything. It's just kind of gone sideways. It's been kind of an ugly market. It's been difficult to trade. Nothing like what we've seen, you know, the previous uh, six to eight months out in here. This has been a little bit stagnated in here, and so it's been difficult to trade and pick up any kind of real movement or real trend in here. If we come down and look at the four-hour chart, you can see, again, we're, we're having a struggle of a time making any kind of real trend. Two hour chart, same thing. We're getting a little bit of a trend in here, uh, but it's been a little bit stagnated. If we come across and we look at some of these other markets, again, Japanese yen stagnated, not doing a whole lot for us. Two hour chart, stagnated. Uh, come into the Euro FX, stagnated. Come into the two hour chart, pretty stagnated. It's not really doing much for us. And so when a market's like this, we have to be able to realize that um, we're not going to get a lot of big long movements in the market. We're not going to get a big uh, a, a big run. We're not going to get a big, you know, three, four, five thousand dollar move in the market. We're getting these little small runs in here. And you can see that that on a on a two hour chart is a is a two thousand dollar run uh, in here. But for the most part, here here on the Euro FX, you know, the last few days, last week, it's just been stagnated sideways. It's really hard to trade that type of a market. Even you come down to the range bar six chart time frame, you get a few little uh, moves in here like we got today, but for the most part, this is a difficult market to trade. You can see just a lot of stagnation in the market, a lot of sideways trending, not really giving us any kind of uh, activity that would give us a, an idea to get into this market. And catching these little price corrections in here, really difficult to do. Uh, watch your time of day. Uh, here's the 8 o'clock in the morning. We get a little bit of movement in the mornings uh, on these stagnated markets, but then you know they don't really pan out much and go, uh, move into a longer-term trend. So uh, taking short positions, little trends in here, catching a couple hundred bucks on a, on a rally or a fall uh, is about as best you're going to do when you're trading these stagnated markets. But again, move out and look at the longer-term time frame. See where we're at on the daily chart. See where we're at on the four-hour chart, the two-hour chart. See what kind of trends you're getting. If you're not getting much of a trend, don't anticipate staying into a market very long uh, on the shorter term time frame. Just try and scalp out a little bit of money in the morning session and then be done with it because we're not getting any kind of activity that's going to drive us to a longer term trend.